Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Texas back on some Mad Ultimate Team, and we have some new Team of the Week content in the game for week number four. The upgrade set for week four includes Andy Dalton, Chris Baker, Leonard Hankerson, and Landon Collins. You guys know how troll worthy is going to be when you guys pull Leonard Hankerson out of a pro pack. If you guys did not know, Leonard Hankerson's 74 overall gold card goes for about 75,000 coins, and his 80 overall card is going for about 9k so it is a huge price difference but it's still not a bad pull nonetheless so we got 80 dollars had a big week against the uh who they play they play the chiefs 80 dollars looking really good this year he's looking really good this year going for 7200 coins he's not the best quarterback in the game what's the stats though look at it 24 attempts for 321 passing yards and one td honestly i thought that we were going to get a josh mccown or a philip rivers both those guys have monster weeks but EA Sports did not go in that direction. I apologize to all you Cleveland Browns fans, all you Charger fans, did not get the quarterback that you wanted for this week's content update. So there's Andy Dalton right there, not too bad. Chris Baker is a D-tackle. You guys don't care about that. Unless this guy has good speed. Does he have like 80-something speed? Let's find out. Nope. All right, moving on to the next card because that card is not going to be used to anybody's team. Landon Collins, strong safety. What's this guy's speed? He is a rookie. Please have good speed. Please have good speed. Please have good speed. He has okay speed, 91 speed, somebody just bought that car right there for 25k, golly. 91 speed, 92 hit power, okay, it's not bad for a strong safety user. Be a great user, strong safety user. If you guys use a 3-4, 3-4 bear, play this guy with a linebacker pretty much, not bad, 92 acceleration. I can dig it, I can definitely dig this guy's card. So, Lennon Collins is not terrible, not terrible at all. Now on to the main set, week four hero for the Mohamed Wilkerson. Why didn't Josh Norman get a car? But whatever, whatever. Let me fall back. Let me stop complaining. Maybe he'll get the uh, Hope All Outsider car coming up soon. So here's the collectible. If you guys pull the collectible, it's going for some coins. So don't post it up there for a thousand coins unless you want to. Tavon Austin is the man. This we had to have a really good game, and this card is going for a lot because he has 96 speed. I think Brandon Cooks is going for about 50k more. And he also has 96 speed. I'm getting tired of EA releasing these guys' cars 96 speed because they don't, like, have any competition on defense. None at all. This guy can pretty much run by the second or not. He's not, like, the greatest receiver in the game, but 96 speed makes him probably one of the better ones because he can run straight by your cornerbacks, your defensive backs. If you guys did not know that, I mean, just go get Brashard Perriman and just throw a streak route because it's pretty much unstoppable. But this type of Austin does not look bad at all. Uh, if there was some way to get this guy to halfback, that'd be a very fun thing to experiment with. But I don't know a way as of right now. I know you can put this guy maybe at tight end and something on the backfield with your tight ends back there, but it's still not possible to get this guy at halfback. That'd be kind of cool to have him at halfback. But yo, as an all purpose receiver, this car could be deadly. The quote Jackson is slow. You guys don't care about that. He's also very cheap. He's going for a little bit of coin, about 20K. That's kind of crazy. The car just came out. It's about 20,000 coins, so that card is going to be around like 10k before the end of the week. CJ Spiller is the next card on deck, and this card is insane. Already for 40,000 coins, and yeah, the card is low-key really, really good. Like, this is one of the better running backs in this game right now. 94 speed, 94 acceleration with 95 juke move. Carry doesn't matter. Trucking in this game is okay. It works. It works this year, but strength or just broken tackles seem to happen no matter who the halfback is, so card is not terrible and you can go compare this card right now to my major halfbacks and yeah yeah like it's it's like it's a contest it's a contest the only halfback i've compared to is jarek mckinnon yet let's see what jarek mckinnon is looking like compared to this guy right quick so yeah 94 speed 97 agility 93 carry but like yeah they're kind of similar they're kind of similar kind of similar so if you guys want to save some coin you're going to get jarek mckinnon but cj spiller He's not bad himself. He's not bad himself at all. Can he can he catch though? Can he catch? Yes, he can. 88 catch. So this is a great receiving halfback. Also a great uh, running back. Also a great kick returner. Great pop returner. He can pretty much do everything. He's a triple threat type of halfback. And that is what I love about getting these guys on my team. And last but not least is the Nick Perry. This card is... He's fast. He's fast. 6'3", 88 speed. That is fast. 95 acceleration with a 91 hit power. 80 play rate, 81 block shed. What do you do against Colin Kaepernick? Run, two run tackles, two tackle for loss, two QB hits, and two sacks. Pretty big game. I thought Anthony Barber would get a card, but not right now. Nick Perry is not bad. I just upgraded him outside linebacker card. And damn, this card is so fucking fat. Like, is he a, a coverage outside linebacker or is he a blitzing outside linebacker? Maybe he's both. Maybe he's one of those hybrid types. 
Nine two power move. Okay, eighty one block shit. This guy can pretty much do it all. He's a hybrid type outside linebacker. He can do pretty much anything you need him to do. The eighty eight stand was gonna be a problem, but he can definitely be, get the job done. Uh, let me go ahead and compare this guy right quick to my carrying outside linebackers. Yeah, he's faster than Khalil Mack, and he has better acceleration. Uh, Khalil Mack has higher tackle, but that's irrelevant in this game sometimes. A uh, player X higher and block shed is a little bit lower. But yeah, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Plus, he's going for like a third of the price. Uh, here's KJ Wright, who's going for the same exact price, around 16 to 20K. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this Nick Perry is a really good card. I might have to pick him as a backup, just in case I need somebody with some speed on the defensive on, on the edge that has high power move as well. This guy looks to have pretty much the whole package. Yo, high key, Nick Perry seems to be the move right now. Nick Perry seems to be the best card to come out this week, value-wise. Because he can pretty much do it all. Rush off the edge, drop back into cover. Actually, let me fall back. Did I check his cover stats yet? What's his zone? What's his, uh, what's his zone? Uh, 69. Uh, he's a great user card, I'll say that. He can pretty much come off the edge just like crazy. Like, like Jared Allen, here's Jared Allen. Jared Allen, like, that's... Jared Allen, that's Jared Allen's job to come off the edge. Nick Perry dwarfs it. Now, Jared Allen does have, I believe, higher... Uh, nope, no, same, same block shit. So, yeah. This Nick Perry seems to be the best card to come out this week value-wise. So if you guys need an outside linebacker and blitz off the edge or a user outside linebacker, go ahead and pick up this Nick Perry. Also forgot to mention that you guys know, but just in case you don't, these cards' prices will drop below 10,000 coins. I don't know when that'll happen. It's going to be this week. You got BCA packs in the store right now. Everybody's pulling packs for BCA Series Upgrade 2. So these card prices are going to come down fast. So just be patient and wait till this weekend to pick them up for under 10,000 coins. Last but not least is going to be this Martellus Ben 24-hour or limited time card, I shall say. And he's going for cheap right now. That's kind of crazy. He must not have good stats. Like, he must not have good stats. It's crazy how when Greg Olsen comes out, he's not in the overall as well. Not that great of stats. Going for 200,000 coins. Like, it's insane. And Martellus Bennett, who's in packs maybe three or four more days, is going for 88,000 coins right now. Like, that's crazy. But let's go ahead and flip it over right quick. And let's see what he's talking about. <sighs> 83 speed, okay. 6'6. 93 spec catch. His run block needs to be higher than that. His run block around 88. Oh, my God. I'll probably pick it up. I'll probably pick it up. It's not a bad card. But it's not a card that makes you want to pull packs. Like, it's like, okay, it's in packs. Cool. Cool. I'm about pulling packs because I'm not going to get much out of it. I would love to pull the card. Don't get me wrong. But, man, it leaves a little to be desired on this guy's card. Now, here's Tyler Eifert, who's a six overall difference. And, okay. Stuff that, like, yeah. Here's Travis Kelsey, who's a lot cheaper. Yeah, Eifert's not. Uh, Martell's been is not bad. He could be better, though. He could be a much better card if they just gave him the appropriate blocking attributes. But whatever. Let's go pull some packs.